street seen a zephyr. Some homes are kept up, some are not. There is a empty lot next to the house that the house was torn down. I don't know the story. Here is Zephyr, and as we go around, there is the uh, street scene. Um, I think the driveway is dirty. I think it should be pressure washed. They've done some patching in the slab. There's a dent in the garage door. It is freshly painted. Several light fixtures are old and dated. The landscaping um, is not done, so you don't have to worry about the tenant messing it up on one hand. There's this little covered porch, old light fixture, and it's the wood siding, so you got to watch that. Um, as we enter, you have stairs to the right. As you enter, there's a step down with great hardwood floors. There is a little step down, which could hurt people. The living room looks a little bigger online than in person. Um, but it's a fair sized living room. It does have a two story ceiling, which makes it nice and open. There you see a ceiling fan. A lot of the ceiling fans are not replaced. They're old and dated, or just dated. As we walk straight ahead, you go to the kitchen, again, with the dated tile, dated light fixture. They did update the counters with granite, undermount sink, new faucet, new appliances. Beautiful backsplash, like that. They restained the cabinets, um, but they have this cheap paper towel holder here. No fridge. As you go outside, this is what we thought would be good. As you go outside, there is a nice tree, but the landscaping's rough. The AC's right there. When it was running, it was a little loud outside. But um, there is a trail all the way here from the right, or a park, all the way to the left. And then you've got your sunroom here, which looks a little better online as well. It's a great patio. Um, so it is kind of extra space. He's counting his living space. I think that's pushing it a bit. Here is the trail as it goes, probably for a couple miles. Um, so there's trails that go probably to the mile to the left and a mile to the right, I would guess. This has the playground behind it. Uh, not a lot of trees lumped together, but spread out. And then older home has this electric line coming from, and then you got the electric lines behind there. The siding in the back is painted, looks okay. Um, but someday that will need to be updated, too. Again, old light fixture. The master is down. Let me pop in the sunroom real quick. Here's the sunroom. Again, they're counting the space. It does have stucco walls. All the windows are replaced everywhere in the house. So this view is kind of nice. It's hot in the room right now, but the window unit isn't running. So as we go back towards where the master bedroom is. you got some closets. you got this half bath. Um, there's things going on like on the mirror where there's chipping coming up and it's an easy fix. You just put wood trim and paint it. Um, I can explain that. And then there's this pedestal sink which has cigarette burns here. That can be refinished for probably 120 bucks. They did put tile down here. The laundry room's okay. Here's the master bedroom. I think it's a little small. I think it looks about mm, 12 feet by 10 feet or 12 feet by 11. And this door is still shutting on its hinges. The master bath is kind of funky, even though I like the windows. This vanity is short, even for me. And then there's a step down to the toilet and the bath has a great window seat, but this looks out to the neighbor's house, and there would be a house there if one was built. So that's kind of weird. Um, and then you put a shower curtain up here, which will kind of take away from the open field that I like online. Um, you just have plastic instead of grout going around the tub as well, and then old brass fixtures. Closet's good size. This is the view from the master bedroom, the tree, and then the green bell in the park, or the trails in the back. Now we're going to go upstairs. Upstairs. 
They're claiming three bedrooms upstairs. There is a separate room, but it doesn't have a closet. The carpet is new. That's good. Ceiling staying old. Home has been retextured. Ceiling scraped. This is a little loft, probably about 10 feet by 10 feet. This is a supposedly fourth bedroom. It can hold maybe a twin bed and some dressers, but the closet is this, which is about four, five feet tall in this space. So there's no real closet. So it could be an office or a media room, but it's upstairs. And then on this side is the second bath. You know, some of the grout's not nice. They did redo the tile on the floor, but the grout color on the floor is a weird kind of gray or green. This counter could be refinished also for a hundred bucks. And again, the chipping on the window, but it's okay. It's just it definitely it doesn't seem to really have the new feel that I was expecting. This is the other bedroom. This view is the neighbor where that slab is, and then the green belt behind there, and the neighbor, and then there's kind of the cul-de-sac to the main street. And then we go to this last bedroom. Um, they're average size. But this bedroom has a view outside like this of the tree, and you can, that would be the trails and stuff behind there, but you can't see it. So all in all, I think it's a mediocre remodel. I thought it might be a little more better remodel for the money they put into it, but we could talk about it. I would think, uh, I think I could come up with a number to make it worth it, and maybe we don't offer full price. All right, comment.